Hello guys, and today I'm Nicole, and I will be showing you how to draw fruits. So, are you making watermelon? What fruit are you making? Uh, we'll make a watermelon. Okay. So you can get crayons, colored pencils, anything really. And then there's Joseph in the background, <laughs> being a psychopath. Ooh! I'm going to get a green. I'm using these colored pencils by Crayola. I'm trying to get my out. Mickey Mouse! Mickey Mouse? Why the heck are you... Mickey Mouse! Ow! Stop! I'm sorry. It's Mickey Mouse. Okay. Ugh. I'm still having trouble getting this green. Okay, there we go. I finally got the green out. I'm using like a lighter green since I can't find the dark green. Yeah, I'm not sure what the dark green went. But first we're going to start with strong... Like an oval and a circle. Like it's like an oval. I'm not the best at drawing circles. Teddy, stop. Okay, let's draw like that. Okay. I'm not the best at doing it. Then you're gonna take um, I don't know, are these the same? Yeah, they're the same. And then you're gonna take it, take your green, and you're gonna draw lines. Now these are the lines that are on a watermelon. And then you're gonna take a couple different green shades. So I'm gonna use lime green and green. I wish we had a dark green. Is this dark green? And I found a dark green. Wait, can you um, overlap it with dark green? Because we can't really yeah. see it. Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of better. Oh, yeah, that's way better. I'm not the best at drawing lines. Trust me, that's me. I'm bad at drawing lines. And then we'll do a circle. And so now we're gonna take our green. We're gonna shade it in lightly. Let's go lightly. Trying to not, you're gonna try and fill it in and you're gonna have to go over a couple of times with different shades to make it um, look like a watermelon. And then I'll show you if you guys wanna do the slice in half one. And we'll also be doing a shadow. How's that looking? Good. Are you running low on battery? What? Are you running low on battery yet? Don't worry about it. Okay, so now almost done so we'll turn back in when I have this done getting colored in a couple more greens and the outside you want to go with a little bit of a lighter green because you did a darker outside so you want to like make it blend Blend just the dark and the light. What are you doing? I'm being crazy. Yeah, I wonder why your your, your YouTube channel name is Crazy from YouTube, <laughs> Joseph. Because you're crazy. If you just only killed yourself. And by the way, guys, she's the best at red and watermelons. I love watermelon. I don't really, but... I stare at watermelon for 24 hours. <laughs> Anytime someone brings watermelon, I eat all of it. That is true, because we're at a party right now. 
and there's they had watermelon and she was and she went crazy and so with the uh, like when you go to um chinese food places oh gosh um and you get the noodle chips i am obsessed i'm obsessed with those i just have to i'm doing um a little bit because i want to make it even a little bit and make it blend better not doing this darker green oh gosh joseph so i'm a psycho now I'm going in with this like teal, this greenish yellowish color, and that's just gonna color in all the little gaps. And you don't have to be perfect at drawing. I'm not perfect at drawing watermelons, but I try my best. And that's how you draw the watermelon. Then you're gonna take a black, just black. Not too much. How do you know? You're gonna stay over here. Black. Is that black or brown? Brown. And this is black. Okay, now you're gonna take black. You're gonna lightly like trace the shape of the watermelon. Now we're doing a shadow. And after you take it black, I'm gonna lightly shade it in. I'm gonna lightly shade it in. This is black, you wanna do it lightly. And once you do it lightly, you will. Teddy, what's the matter? Teddy is my, our grandma's dog that is, uh, he will never leave me because anytime he leaves me, he just runs back. So now that we have like a shadow, doesn't have to be perfect because shadows can be totally different. That's silver, but it's like metallic silver. I just use a little bit of silver, but it's metallic silver, so. And then I just then use like you could use a silver or a gray. I'm gonna find a gray, so I'm using like a silver grayish. And that's how you draw a watermelon with a shadow. So if you wanna draw one with a half, we will post that next. Bye!